Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 48th World. How y'all doing this happy Saturday? I mean, Lord, happy Sunday. Okay, we're waiting on Portia Williams' uh, Family Matters thing to debut, uh, which will be Eastern Standard Time, 8 o'clock a.m. And right now it is 7.32. So I thought I'll do this short video on who's going to check me, boo. To me, that man seemed like he checked Sheree, but you know, that was just a matter of opinion, however you looked at it. But child, her ex-boyfriend has checked her checkmate. He was playing chess while Sheree was playing checkers. I don't know, I tell you, I just don't know. The Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14 won't be here until, what, March or April of next year. Because they got a late start this year because of COVID. But COVID will still be there next year as well. But honey, Sheree's whole storyline for coming back for season 14 was built on a lie. Or something that her boyfriend destroyed for her. She was gambling. Took a gamble on him being still in jail. Now he's in a halfway house trying to get out. And I, I, I know they won't let me out. They won't let me out. Y'all remember that song with Akon? Trying to get out. But they won't let me out. Okay. So he's trying his damn this to get up out of that halfway house. So he can get back on these streets and do whatever he was doing. But then I think I heard in somebody's blog that I was watching. Can't remember at this time. So I can't really give them a shout out. Um, they said he was paying Sheree's bills. So I'm like, how is he paying Sheree bills and he's in jail? Did he have money prior to going in and Sheree just sitting on it? Or know where it is? Got the passwords and all that kind of thing because he thought he could trust her? The whole situation seems fishy to me. Because I know Tyrone knew that Sheree was trying to get back on the show. And it was plausible. I'm not saying he knew. But it was plausible that they were talking routinely. You know, especially if he paying bills for them. And she had to probably do things for him that he can't do because he's on the inside. Or he's on the halfway house where he can probably go to work or go short places like to the dollar's office, to the grocery store, something like that. And come on back home. Or come on back to that house. Uh, and check in because he's not a free man and I don't think he will ever be a free man okay because this is like once you have yourself in the system they always monitoring you always watching you at least that's what I thought or I'm thinking still so they're just waiting for him to mess up and hopefully he'll keep his nose clean and I do mean keep his nose clean with scamming folks Doing all this wire fraud and all this kind of stuff. So he can smell the roses and enjoy the rest of his life. But little do he know, he's putting more years behind him than he has ahead of him. Okay, we know she's right. She knows she's done put several miles and years behind her. And she only have a set amount going forward. She have more miles behind her than she do have uh, you know, in front of her, is what I'm trying to say. But she keeps herself well. Um, uh, hydrated and her body's the banging so we just kind of got to get that mind right because the body and the mind are not connected because i'm like you built your whole livelihood around coming back to the real housewives of atlanta instead of going and getting you in a job like an apparel store like at tiffany's and company or louis vuitton something to that essence of high class demeanor behavior if you can't make it on TV, Sheree, try something else, baby. Because I tell you, you just let your man walk all over you. Because your ex-husband, he walked all over you, still made a fool of you when you were on the show of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now you got Tyrone, he making a fool out of you because he's like, take my name out of everything. Sue Bravo, my lawyers, go and get them. I'm like, damn, he got some lawyers? Child, we got crooked lawyers out there, too. And they all got to make money. Okay. So. I'm thinking like. Okay. Now if he knew this. That she wanted to get back on the show. And she was searching for a storyline. And Bravo was stupid enough. To. Have meetings with her. And. Offer her a peach. If this storyline prevailed. Between the two of them. Did they not think. 
that it was going to be some infraction posed on him as being a convict still under the graces of the law. Okay, he's not a free man. He got to walk a tight line. He think coming on the Real Housewives of Atlanta going to give him some type of notoriety. I don't understand. It's like we're dealing with two uneducated people. Well, I wouldn't say uneducated. I said just don't have no common sense. I'm like, who is your boyfriend? What is he doing for you, girl? Are you that head up in a life of crime, a white collar crime, that you only think one way and that's getting to the business at hand? Because once you get all the money or whatever you're looking for, if you ain't plotted yourself out right, something's going to go wrong, majorly wrong. It might put you in jail this time, you're right. Okay, so I'm like, think about your options. I mean, the only thing that you have is your mama to try to look out for. And that's a lot right there. That's saying a lot right there. But I'm like, is it worth it? And you don't have any more choices of men other than being in the prison system? I'm like, you're coming to be a cliche around here. Sure, right? On these streets here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm like, girl... Is the limelight, the social light, is something that you look forward to always being a part of or something? Because I'm like, your children are grown. Your mother is, you know, got, um, you know, I can't say, but I know she got more years behind her than in front of her. But it seems like she was suffering from some things. We won't say what, because all of it is allegedly. But she needs your help unless you're going to put her in a nursing home. But do you even have the money to foot that bill? You know, because I'm talking about a nice nursing home. Ain't that about the ones that, you know, family just turn over their, you know, parents, social security number and don't look back at them until they feel sad or sorry. And then they go visit them. But then they may be worse off than what they had put them in now as. So I don't know. I don't know, Shrek. I don't know how you keep picking these men that keep dogging you out, treating you less than, and you want to still be supportive of them. Because this man sent to Bravo, from what I'm hearing, and from the streets of the YouTube, he sent them cis and deceased letters. Meaning, take all likes, looks, actions, speaking of his name, out of their taping. I mean, he want to be wiped, screwed, clean like he never existed. Which pays one to wonder, how is that going to make you look without having a storyline? Since your whole storyline was centered around him, meaning Tyrone Gilliam. Is Barbara still going to say, okay, we can make this work? Or are they betting on you having a convict boyfriend? And they just wanted to see how a socialite such as yourself... It's still moving and shaking around with convict. You know, that's some, that's some sensational, salacious stories that can be formed with you being able to tape with him. And he tries to give us some insight of why he went to jail. What did he do far as uh, being put in jail? A little bit more in-depth information than what they were giving us that's public knowledge to the world, to the masses. To the community. You see what I'm saying? You're right. So if you have not that to show us, we know you ain't got no apparel to show us. We ain't going to go lingering on that fact. But we do know with those cliche words you use, and you put them on t-shirts for people to buy. Who going to check me, boo? It seems like your current boyfriend who doesn't seem like he wants to talk with you at this time checked you. And you're... Ex-husband checked you more than one time. So, I don't know what the deal is, Sheree. It's like you 0 for 2 at this point. And um, three strikes, you're out, baby girl. But hopefully you could come up with some contractual, uh, what do you call it, revamping. And I don't know, maybe you can come up with some uh, apparel and get into the fashion scene again and you know, show us all up, all, all your naysayers that said you didn't have any fashions, any joggers, any of that. 
Maybe you can go whoop something up and put them in a clothing store or show us what you're doing online or, or something to that effect. Because girl, baby girl, baby girl. Or maybe you can enlist your ex-husband to take the place of your boyfriend coming in. Maybe you can make a storyline with him. Don't say you're trying to get back with him because it's not believable. And we don't want you with him because he done made a fool out of you, you know, with the kids and all that situation. And then you... And with you even thinking about going back with him into that type of relationship that you felt was detrimental to your mental. Okay? So, I'm like, come with it or finally go away from the television entertainment scene, Sheree. If you want to be a socialite out there, go do some philanthropy type. But then you will have to have money. So I don't know how that equation fits together because I don't know what you have, what you try to aspire to have. Because either you have a knack for being amongst the elite and know how to chit chat with them to make them release their wallets to you in the form of a donation to a reputable charity. Uh, I don't know what you could possibly do to stay amongst the who's who in Atlanta and abroad, if maybe. But, child, you might need to go check on Acon. Um, because you spend a lot of time over there. Uh, in Nigeria or Kenya. I don't know where you were, but the streets were saying you were over there trying to get Acon's wife or one of your wives to be a part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You were going to be the friend and all that kind of stuff. You know, do you have any connections there? Because I'm sure Bravo is over there saying, girl, we didn't hire you. You gave us pretense. Or well, now it's false pretense that we could use the storyline of you having a convict uh, as her boyfriend. And he was going to be getting out soon. And you're going to give us, you know, some background and some future updated version of what's going on with your relationship. Where y'all plan on going with it for the future. But as we can see, since uh, Tyrone Gilliam sent a cease and desist letter to bravo entertainment truly original entertainment it seems like they're gonna have to be revamping the size or parts that they promise you that you will be seen in the real housewives of Atlanta. now you know they do it very beautifully they can bring you on they can take you off they can bring you on and say you're gonna get these so many episodes during this season well since you kind of not uh delivering on your end instead of us seeing you all throughout the um how many seasons i mean how many episodes we have this season for 14 they might have said you could be in just about all of them which is eight or more you might not even be seen but in four or maybe two girl and i, I don't know were they paying you a thousand every scene or what was it because you were pitching for the um full-time peach holder recognition you got it but again your storyline is not there anymore so girl 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 you just keep losing sure you just keep losing it just seems like if you change up on a little something you know maybe entertainment is just not for you and it's not for everybody because look at lisa Wu. she didn't make it Deshaun snow she didn't really make it um Anybody else we could say Kim Fields didn't make it, but she's a producer, director. You know, maybe you need to go into another type of field, career choice in the entertainment business. You know, you can definitely be an athletic uh, aerobic instructor, um, mm -hmm. making sure everybody stays fit and stuff. You can sign up with them the cast uh see if they want to enlist you any you know, of those type of ventures but it just don't seem like and it may be a good thing sheree bravo is going to need you baby okay uh, i could have saw you on the ultimate girls trip as you know one of the has um but i mean what do you what will you have for us because we already kind of got marlo to be the bone collector and the receiver and you know we already got her for that in a sense. And we're trying to see what her story develops with her having her nephews and she's raising them and things of that nature. We don't have Cynthia anymore. 
bless God. Maybe she go into better, bigger things. Uh, but you know, she was just treading water uh, over here as the mediator, uh, placeholder. Uh, try to be the what do you call it? Uh, the middleman that tries to make everything smooth over on both sides. You know that kind of thing. And then she give us face and fashion. We gonna take that from her. But other than that, she didn't give us anything. Uh, we got Candy here, you know, placeholder once again. Uh, does an excellent job with her kids. She, she's a hustler. She likes to work. She likes to build for her legacy. Uh, generational wealth. Can't take that from her. Um, but, you know, we're tired of her, but I, she ain't going nowhere. She ain't going nowhere. She's going to use this platform till she can use it up. And Barbara going to have to get rid of her pretty much. She ain't going nowhere. That's, that's sad, such a story, but... You know, she can be doing something else. Definitely placeholder. It could be, we can have somebody else in this. But like I said, she keep her head down. She keep her nose clean. She do what the execs tell her to do. And then they throw her a bone here and two to give her specials. And she knows how to play the game real well. She can be seen and not heard half the time. But she's making moves on the backside. So, <laughs> can we blame her? So, but we just don't want to see her on Real Housewives of Atlanta anymore. But that's not our choice. That's the executive's choice and how they feel, you know. But, um, I don't know. I don't know, Sheree. Don't look good for you, baby. Don't look good. But, uh, you know, if you want to work, there's certain other choices you can have. You don't have to be in front of the camera all the time. You can be a background person, you know. Still, money's money. And it's legit money. So, but I think you just need to cut this time on short because he ain't, you know, I understand both sides. I do. You trying to make money and he trying to get get his freedom. So y'all both have amicable um, decisions to make and, and y'all have things that y'all need to work on. And uh, y'all both are stressing what y'all both need and he wants his freedom. And I can't blame him for pulling out of all the stops. But he's stopping your grind in a sense. Uh, so, I don't know how that's going to partake on y'all relationship going forward. Because right now, to us, as the public looking in, uh, it doesn't look like he wants to be bothered with you. But it all could be a smoke screen. It all could be a major plan that y'all cooping up or cooking up for us later on down the road. But I don't know. I'm just saying. He's just pumping brakes. And he, he pumping brakes on your uh, income that you could have had if the storyline were... To be you had a boyfriend. Because right now the streets are saying you ain't got no boyfriend. He ain't making no contact. He sent a cease and desist letters to your employer. Uh, which is going to pretty much. They're going to be looking at you. on what Can you bring us what? What have you have else in your store closet. To bring us as a storyline. Because if you don't have anything. Then it's not too much we can do with you. <laughs> but that's all I got y'all. That's all I got. And stay tuned for me reviewing the Portia Williams Family Matters that's going to come up in about 10 minutes. All right. But other than that, y'all like it, love it, got to have more. Subscribe to the channel, share my videos, like my videos, and I will see y'all next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.